to retain that crown and particularly this year because there is a hundred thousand US dollars for everybody who wins a gold medal. Fifty thousand for silver medalists, twenty-five thousand for a bronze medal. And there is Zoyrov. And he's up against a home fighter in Tamir Galanov. Originally from Russia, but now boxing for Serbia, based in Serbia. And when he was boxing in Russian colours, he was at the World Championships in 2013 and in 2017 in Hamburg, where he won a bronze medal. Made the move to Serbia in the last two or three years. He won the national title earlier this year. Good relationship between the two countries. 32 years old now. Began boxing in 2002, so nearly 20 years under his belt. That's Galanov in the blue, Zoyrov is in the red. Interesting Uzbek team. Interesting Uzbek team. We've got Shakram Digyasov later on coming back into Aiba boxing for the first time since 2017 when he won the gold medal in Hamburg at the World Championships. We saw Hassan Boy Dusmatov return for the first time since winning gold in Rio in 2016. He was up against Sakhan Bibasinov of Kazakhstan in the very first preliminary round. No seeding in this competition and out he went. So it'll be fascinating to see how Giyasov goes later on against Aslanbek Shimburganov of Kazakhstan. That's an absolutely belting fight. So into this one though, Zoyrov of Uzbekistan, he's in the red here. Galanov of Serbia in the blue. Height advantage there obviously for Zoyrov. Three and zero is a pro, Zoyrov. <laughs> Trying to find that right hand to the body there, Galanov. Zorov with a long left hand. those gloves low, Zorov popping the jab there. Galanov for the most part in the centre, Zorov just moving around him, looking for the jab. There's been plenty thrown in this opening round, particularly by Zorov. Not that much of it is registered clean, the referee just having a word about hitting with the inside of the glove and, and slightly around the back of the head there as well to Zorov. Well inside the final minute of round one, Galanov The job he's got on his hands here is to try and slow down that movement for Zoyrov because he's getting turned round and round and round and round and the difficulty is laying a glove on Zoyrov basically. having a quick word, word with Galanov there about, about some holding, but that's the kind of thing really that he's, he's going to need to do, just get a hold of Zoyrov wherever he can and just try and slow him down somehow.
There was a lot thrown there by Zorov, but it was it flattered to deceive a bit because not all that much of it landed. The split scoring there from the judges. Three scores in favour of Zorov. Estonia, Sri Lanka, Spain going for Zorov. The other two judges going for Galanov. He lands a left hand there, Galanov, and then just slipped off to his right. And as I said, he was in the centre of the ring. Zorov was moving round and round and round and round, up on his toes a lot of the time, throwing a lot of shots. Left hand there did land, flicking that jab, but not that much of it got through. Not that much of it got through, and that's what the judges are looking for. That's the only thing that matters. People can talk about styles all they want. They can talk about people being on the front foot and making the fight all they want. What it comes down to is who lands what. And Aiba Boxing, you've got to land with a knuckle part of the glove on either the torso or the front and the side of the head. That is how you register a scoring punch. You can throw as many technically perfect jabs that hit gloves as you like. That is not a scoring punch. Galanov just crossing his feet there as he tries to get on top of Zorov a bit. Zorov in the centre there for the first time really. Galanov just steps to him and walks him back to the rope. Zorov though happy enough to allow that to happen. Right to the body there from Zorov was a decent punch. Left hand from Galanov off the back of a jab there from Zorov. Galanov a little bit clumsy as he came forward there, but a right hand got through, left from Zorov. The right hand comes back from Galanov. Looking for that left to the body, Zorov. A lot straight down the middle. Leads off with a hook. One, two, but again it's on the gloves there of Galanov. Zorov relying on those reflexes. He's got great feet. He does have good reflexes too. He carries those gloves really low. Sweeping left hand there from Zoyrov. Midway through the round. Made to miss with the left there, Zoyrov, and Galanov gets up close and personal, but a little bit too close. Right hand lands from Galanov, but a left hand came back in there from Zoyrov as well. Similar kind of dynamic to, to round one, and the decision the judges have to make here is. Is, as I said before, it's quite simply who has landed what over the course of the round. It's not easy to work it out. It makes it sound like an easy job judging when I put it in those kind of basic terms. And that is what it's about. But in a fight like this, it can be difficult to, to get a gauge on what has got through. Right hand to the body there from Galanov, I think, did land. There's all sorts of movement from Zoyrov. Somebody once said to me, there's a lot of sizzle, but how much steak is there? Short right hand there from Galanov. You see, that is a scoring punch. Zorov again lets go with his left hand and misses with it. Well, there goes the belt. may well get some more split scores there because that was almost exactly the same as the first round. Well, Zorov actually gets it 10-9 uh, across the board. So he's in control now. Three cards are 20 points to 18. The other five at 19 apiece. Left hand there coming through from Galanov. And a left hand from Zorov. He's eye-catching Zorov. I'm not trying to do him down here. He's an excellent fighter. He's a he's Olympic champion. He's, he's a world champion. He's Asian champion from earlier this year. He's a double Olympian. And he's got amazing feet and reflexes. But I think one thing that his style does see him profit from is that it is, it is eye-catching. It is quite flashy. 
And I think it could. I think you could get seduced into thinking that he's landing more than he actually is. There's a good solid right hand there. The start of the round from Galanov. Set himself well. Delivered the punch really well. Another good right hand over the top. And those are two really, really close rounds. I'm not arguing really with the fact that Zoyrov got that second round, but I think Galanov, well, it was tight. Could maybe got something with the judges. One, two there from Galanov. Left hand got through. looking for that single left hand or often looking for that single left hand Zoyrov. Another one of these fighters who, who offers you the head a lot of the time. He just leans in with it. But he's actually got the weight well balanced between those two feet. He's just hinging forward at the waist. That's how he presents you with the head so he can pull it back really whenever he wants. He can tempt fighters in make them throw and then he can just pull it back they fall short and then he can look to counter a minute remaining and we've had three very very similar rounds here Galanov has tried to walk Zoyrov down Zoyrov has been a blur of movement feet and hands working at speed left hand goes straight down the middle there from Zoyrov who's going to win this fight because He's two points clear with three of the judges going into the final round. The other two cards level, so even were he to lose this round, with all five judges, he would still win by split decision. It's a high energy way of fighting this. Mazorov looks like he could do it all day. Into the final 10 seconds. So the gloves coming off and Zoyrov is going to go through to the next round. But it was tight that against Galanov. Split scoring in the opening round. The second round, all five judges went for Zoyrov. We'll wait to see what they did with that with that final round. Coming to the ring first, fighting out of the red corner, the boxer representing Brazil. Please welcome Mikael Trinidade. And now, please welcome in the blue corner. Of the Just waiting for the announcements in ring A to finish as a couple of fighters are being introduced to the ring, making their ring walks. So Zorov gets it by unanimous decision. So the judges all went his way in round three as well. It is a tough job fighting him. As I said, the movement is unbelievable. The reflexes are very, very good. And he flicks in those punches from, from
from numerous different angles. And with somebody like Galanov, who was slower footed, obviously, had a totally different method. He just circles around, changing direction, keeps you turning and turning and turning until you probably start to feel a bit dizzy. Galanov had some good success at the start of that third round. Popzorov with a really nice right hand. 